Hey everybody. Um, I had a question from Eternal Claws concerning, um, well, I'll read you the question. Since you've bought dolls from three different companies now, I was wondering what you like and dislike about their joint structure um, for the different dolls from the different companies. Um, so, I was deciding whether I wanted to do this video now or wait to do it, um, but I figured I'd go ahead. Um, because I'm going to be getting in more dolls from other companies later. Um, I just don't have them yet. Um, so right now, I have, um, so let me get the order right. Oops. So these three are all from Fairyland. They're sculpted by CP. This guy in the middle here is from Apple House. And then this guy is from Dolls On. Um, I'm going to be getting uh, two Soom dolls and also a Lutz CP doll. So I'll have those. Um, but there's there's more to it than just simply what company they're from. Um, it's also just pretty much which doll it is because you know these three are from Fairyland, but um, their jointing's different. Well, less between these two because they're the same um, basic model. They're both mini fees. Um, but this one's structure is different than these ones. Um, by far, I don't know, he's pretty good, but um, by far <coughs> the Fairyland dolls, except for the people, um, are really my very favorite as far as the, the jointing system goes and how well it works and um, the aesthetic of it as well. Um, so, yeah. So I was thinking I would go from head to toe and show you each one, each one's advantages. Um, so that's what I'll do. So first up, I have Tribble, my little troublemaker, my little cookie pookie, uh, peaky. So for, um, so for the Pookies and the, uh, I'm pretty sure the Pookie Fees and the Little Fees, they all have this base plate kind of method. So the front of her face comes off. Oop. So and she's really cross-eyed now. Um, so the front of the faceplate comes off, and uh, she's got a little, little, little S hook in her. A lot of a lot of the smaller dolls have this kind of faceplate um, sort of structure. So let's put her back together. Just start at the bottom and go up and push it through together. So that's Pookie. Um, Mini Fee. Um, Lilu and Gaius's heads are both the same, so I'm only going to show you one of them. Um, theirs has, oops, she has a wig hair that got caught. Um, theirs has a normal head cap sort of way of doing it. Um, some companies use magnets, some click in, um, the mini fees click in place. So you grab the head cap and you pull from the bottom up pops out. It's got a little like key mechanism so this little hook piece goes in first and then you do it that way. Um, inside of her head though, and also uh, Gaius's, has a turnkey system which is really great for when it comes time to change their clothes. Um, so this little piece that's horizontal, you turn it vertical and Hers is a little hard to do for some reason. I think I got Mr. Super Clear in there or something. Um, but you turn it vertical like you see here, and then the head comes up. Very, very easy for changing eyes, for clothes, face up, all that stuff. So then you just line it back up, and you turn the key. Sorry, I'm going to do it down here because this is, like I said, hers is tough for some reason. Put it 
turn it back. Head cap goes in the top, press, and it kind of clicks in place. Um, I haven't seen a need so far to have any magnets in her head cap or Gaius's, and I, I change her eyes like crazy, um, and do their face ups and all that stuff. Um, yeah, you, I guess you could, you could mod some in there if you wanted, but I've, I've never had a need to do it. Um, yeah, but let me, let me show you Gaius's head cap piece, his turn key, because his actually does really easy. So again. Hers, I mean, his is, his is a lot easier than hers. That's it. But, guys should still get some face time. Yeah. Then, for this guy's head, my Eiffel House Ryan I just got literally yesterday. Um, for him, it's a much smaller head cap system than theirs, uh, but many feeds have huge heads for um, the MSD dolls. So his head cap is all magnetic. See these two little magnets, one up top, one at the bottom? Yeah. So his is just a cap that goes on. And he doesn't have a turnkey mechanism. He has the normal average S-hook kind of deal where you have to pull the S-hook up and turn it so it fits down this, this groove that's in here. Then you can take the head off. Uh, it's kind of a pain comparatively, so I'm not going to do it. Um, it's really normal. I'm sure if you go to a meet or something, someone wouldn't mind showing you. Um, I just know with the lighting and stuff, it wouldn't come across very well um, on the camera. So That's his head. Then we have Lanier. My doll's on you. Um, his is the same kind of deal where it's a magnet piece, but his has a turnkey kind of, not turnkey, but a groove notch kind of deal. And he has, oops, he has a S-hook as well. So, with just one magnet, not two. So, but I've never had a problem with his head cap, so. <clears throat>